You know what they say, April showers bring May flowers. Except if you live in the Las Vegas desert, then all you get is cactus. Okay, I got a little grab bag here at Colors. We're gonna put the background on Creation is Messy um, Smurfy, no, Freeman, Freeman. And then I've got a little brown stringer for the umbrella handle. I'm gonna make a yellow umbrella. I got white for the clouds. I've got some orange and yellow and blue petal cane. I've got some leaf cane somewhere. So we got a little plethora grab bag of colors here for our April showers bead. So here we are with my Creation is Messy Smurfy Olive. And I made this olive with my CG Bead Olive Roller. One of my favorite rollers. I just love this shape. Now, you guys, remember, when you buy those rollers, you get more than just the round bead in the roller, but you also get flat beads, which I'm going to do to this bead right now because I just love it. And um, I'm always trying to find a way, like, I know the rollers are a little bit pricey, but when you get six beads out of it instead of three beads, it makes it worth it. I really love this olive shape. Okay, let's go ahead, smash it flat, and see what we get. Oh, that's pretty. <laughs> I like it. All right, now, tool marks, flash them out. I need my little press here to straighten up the edges a bit. Oh, that's a really round bead. And just like on the lentil press, I went ahead and when you roll it in those rollers, all that material kind of forms concentrically around the mandrel. And then when you press it flat, you get a nice even shape with the mandrel hole in the center of the bead. And I like it. I don't have any divots by the mandrel. So we are ready to go. All right, first thing I put on is the, is the what? <laughs> is I'm gonna put on the little handle first, okay? So just a little sideways J right about there. Oh look, I did it. <laughs> and I decided to go with a skinnier hand pulled stringer instead of a commercial stringer for the handle i thought the commercial stringer was just going to be a little bit fat so sideways j now let's start putting on our umbrella and again push down drag pull up i kind of go around the side here first kind of just to help me out with reference points and so on and don't forget, keep the back warm, keep the sides warm. That heat will disperse towards the center of your bead where you're working on it. Ooh, this is like a golf umbrella, it's huge. Oh, I wish it would rain here in Las Vegas. I love the rain, but we have none. We have wind right now. Okay, I think that looks good. Yay. All right, next I'm going to put on some flowers on the bottoms. So here we go. I just have this leaf cane, but I'm going to make dots with it. Just little dots. And don't be afraid, you guys, to use the side of your bead. Put your flowers on the sides. Put your... Um, your clouds on the side. I've really, I've started playing around with what I call wraparound beads. Kind of like if you remember that monarch, monarch butterfly I did. It was like <clears throat> sticking out on the side of the bead. And I was like, oh, that looks so neat. All right, we got a blue flower. We got an orange and yellow flower. This is more of a yellow flower. Just put them where you think they should go. And I'm trying to keep them small, so I'm only going to do like three petals. Heat them up, 
get out my exacto knife and press in those little petals trying to keep the speed so you guys can see what I'm doing there we go oh, little petal there if you need your water to dip your exacto knife in don't be afraid to use the water oh I better heat up the back heat up the back heat up the sides don't break I'm still freaked out about cracked beads I think it'll always be a phobia of mine there we go all right you know what let's put some little yellow dots in the center of our flowers right there right there right there and then somewhere I have some leaf cane and the leaves you can do like your push down leaf method but sometimes there's not enough room so then I just go in and I put little green dots all around usually I put them right where the the two petals intersect and then of course we got to get in there with a tool of some kind press those leaves down so they don't pop off and if you just light them up with your torch you can see what needs to be pressed down what needs to be better attached the little dots in the center of each flower and there we go all right what did I forget I forgot the little knob on the top of my umbrella little dot there now let's go for some clouds I'm going to use my skinny white rod and while I am heating that rod up I am heating up my bead keeping it nice and warm and let's put in some clouds just on the sides here nice poofy clouds make sure those poofs are really well attached White is good because white is so soft and soupy. It's it's not hard to attach a white a white color. There we go. White clouds. And then for the piece de resistance, I have a little white stringer. I'm just going to put some little tiny um water drops, some raindrops. You can do drops or you can do little swishies, little petals of rain coming down. Maybe there's raindrops on the umbrella. And there you go, you guys. I hope April brings you lots of showers and I hope May brings you lots of flowers. Have a great day. I'll be back soon. Bye. Okay, guys, here is my super boring copyright notice. Um, basically, the video is copyright protected. So, if you would like to show this to someone, just send me an email. If, Maria, I want to show your video in my class group or maybe at show and tell at school, just send me an email. I'm pretty generous with my copyright. I'm sure it'll be fine. Um, the bead in this video is also copyright protected. However, I hereby give you permission to make this bead for yourself. And I give you permission to make this bead as a gift for your friends and family. And I also give you permission and blessings and thanks if you want to make beads for a charity. The only thing I ask is that you don't sell any of my beads because I'm selling my beads. Now, that being said, if you want to sell your beads, like say five beads at my church bazaar, send me an email and we can work something out. If you want to sell a dozen beads at your local craft show, send me an email. We'll work something out. If you want to sell 80 million beads on Amazon, Oh my God, send me an email and we can talk about royalties and the millions of dollars we're going to make selling beads. Anyways, guys, get a hold of me. I'm really generous with my copyright. I'm not here to make any money. 
Um, so yeah, talk to me. Don't be scared. It'll be all right. Take care. Thanks for hanging out and I'll see you soon. Bye.